landing in San Francisco at about 7.15 in the evening. And it looks like he's coming in straight into South City to SFO. It's been just a great trip, 14 hours from Singapore. Well, welcome back to my record room. Wonderful trip as usual. When we hit Japan, we went to Tokyo Disneyland. I didn't show that on my last couple of videos, and thanks for watching those if you did, uh, Japan and Thailand. Tokyo Disneyland was really cool. That was for Sean's 10th birthday, and Sean does have a YouTube channel. Let's travel with Sean, and he'll be featuring uh, Tokyo Disneyland on his channel coming up in the next week or so. Um, when I go shopping, record shopping that is, in Japan and Thailand, I often think I'm going to pick up some local music. Uh, I never do. Next trip, I'm going to do it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Japanese rock, psych, older records uh, from the 70s, 80s, and new stuff too that I'm really interested in. I do stream it, and it's excellent. It's just very deep with all the different uh, Japanese artists and, and Japanese pop. And in Thailand, you know, you have Thai psych. The Thai pop is what I really, really enjoy. It's really come into its own. Uh, it's always been great. Great songwriting, great singing arrangements. Sometimes a little uh, like soft rock, definitely. But uh, I'm going to pick up a couple of records because being married to my wife, who is from Thailand, we listen to the music often uh, in her car driving. Anyhow, I picked up about 15 records I'm going to show you. And, you know, sometimes you might say, well, why did you pick up a U.S. press all the way over in Thailand? You know, get it while you can, as Janis Joplin once said, right? Get it while you can. And often there's records that I just never see uh, in all my digging, Bill's Garage, storage rooms, buying collections, and you just don't see records. And when you see them, you might as well get them. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Pick up the records. Now, there are some discount records that I bought, and this is one of them. This is uh, the original De Delaney and Bonnie, except no substitute. Now, I have a copy of this, but this is Japanese pressing, and this is from 1969, and you have everybody on this. My God. You've got Jim Price... Bobby Whitlock, Bobby Keys, uh, Jim Keltner, Carl Radel, Leon Russell, and Rita Coolidge. Just so many players on this. And of course, you know, George Harrison, Dave Mason, and Eric Clapton all wanted to play like uh, Delaney. He was from Mississippi, he came to LA. He was one of the Shin Dogs, along with Leon Russell, on the uh, Shin Dig TV s series, uh, the show. Uh, from about 1963, 4, and 5. And of course, he met Bonnie later on, Bramlett. She was from Illinois. And she was the first white Iquette ever. Just amazing, amazing singer. I love Delaney and Bonnie. And I'll show you this back cover. So this is a Japanese pressing. And how can you tell? <laughs> right? <laughs> And again, I have a copy of this, but this sounds a little bit better than mine. This is going to be my uh, keeper on this beautiful Japanese wax, heavy cardboard stock. So next up is also a discount record. And when I say discount, the prices went up a little bit. Last year, they were about 6 $7. Now they're about $8 for the discount records in Bangkok. Um, and that Fortune Town Mall, you guys, is just amazing. And next year, I will be venturing out into old Bangkok, Chinatown, to some uh, freestanding record shops. I want to go back to M. Tanakorn. He was one of the very first record sellers in Bangkok. I told PNP Audio, no, PNP uh, Vinyl and Toys told me that he used to just sell the records on the street like a street vendor until he got a storefront. So, really interesting. So here we go with Kalapana. This is their second album. And here you have DJ Pratt. They got their start in uh, Honolulu. And the east side of Honolulu, actually, which is Hawaii Kai. And that's where uh, DJ, DJ Pratt, 
Milani and Mackie Fury all got together to form Kalapana. I love this band. I used to live over on the Big Island. And, you know, this is just, you know, Sea Wind Kalapana is what we listened to back in the day. It still sounds fresh. And guys, you need to check out Black Sand from Kalapana 2. And this is just very nice on a Japanese pressing. And here are the boys saying aloha to you. And Mackie Fury, you know, he passed away. He was such a talent. And he had solo albums as well. Kalapana really went on for really a very, very long time. And finally, I'm compiling almost uh, all of the important ones. I have the first four, Kalapana 1, 2, and 3. And it's just, uh, I really enjoy it. It's, uh, again, somewhat like early Bob James from the 70s. Uh, jazz rock, fusion. You could say a little bit of yacht rock in there, but man, over in the islands, they love it. I'm telling you, and I do too. Now, next up, here's a band I just love so much, The Faces. And this is uh, Long Player, and this is on a Japanese press. I have the record right here. And this is an upgrade to my U.S. press, which sounds very good, but this sounds even better. So this is going to be my keeper. Well, I have two for now, right? And it doesn't have the OB. The thing about OBs, it's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, sure, I want to get them with the OBs, but if not, if I want the record, I'm going to take it without the OB. They get lost down the road. These are old records. And here's the uh, lyric sheet. You know, you have Bad and Ruin. You've got Maybe I'm Amazed, Had Me a Real Good Time. Great record. And uh, I'm missing a couple more Faces records I'm on the hunt for. And next, an artist, a guitarist, amazing guitarist. Uh, he was born in Sioux City, Iowa. He moved to Boulder, Colorado, and he was in the band Zephyr. And uh, I loved Zephyr way back in the day. Uh, they called it the bathtub cover for the first album. And the second album was Going Back to Colorado. And this is a record I've been looking for forever, and I saw it. And this is a beautiful Beautiful copy of Teaser, Tommy Bolin. And of course, he uh, did a stint with James Gang uh, for a couple of years at least in Onto Deep Purple. And at the same time, he was doing session work, uh, doing his solo career. And this is just a wonderful record. Uh, in the car, in uh, gridlock, rush hour traffic going home, I listened to The Grind, Homeward Strut, Dreamer, and Savannah Woman on the way home, and Teaser on the way home. Here's the back cover. And this did not have an OB. Again, it wasn't a deal breaker at all. And it's simply on the Atlantic. And Japanese wax is just heavy, heavy, 180 gram, and it's rarely ever warped. I mean, just, they do such a fine job on pressing. And now here's a genre I just love so much. Um, I mean, I, I love Americana a lot. I've been listening a lot to uh, Amos Lee lately and uh, Ray LaMontagne and just so many other artists. I mean, on and on and on. But here's a band that took off where the Eagles stopped and they continued on with quality, quality country rock. I'm not saying I just like the first Eagles albums the most. And then they went very commercial. They were going for that dangling carrot for the money. Got very commercial. And I know a lot of people love the Eagles. But again, um, I like what they were doing in the beginning. And guys, I picked up a nice copy with a beautiful Obi, Poco Deliverin. And this one sounds good. My other copy, my U.S. copy, sounds good. But this sounds a bit better. I did a shootout. And this is uh, very, very cool to have. A great Poco Live album. And I'll show you the wax here. And I did pick up one other Poco album. I'll show you in just a second here. Now, this is one I didn't have. And this is uh, a later Poco album. It's their 15th album from 1982. You have uh, Rusty Young and Paul Cotton doing most of the writing. And here it is, guys, Ghost Town. And I love the, th the three songs I really love on this are 
the opening track of uh, Ghost Town, written by Rusty Young, and then Shoot for the Moon, Rusty wrote that, and the last track, I love the title, Hi Sierra, they're right over that way, over that way, because <laughs> we're on the eastern slope of the Sierras, and Paul Cotton wrote Hi Sierra, this is a good album, Poco makes good albums, and of course when Tim Schmidt was drafted into the Eagles, he was finally making some money because uh, the boys in Poco, they they just didn't do that good until, uh, what, Legends? They got a gold record on that, and, you know, they made a bit of money. But you got to love Poco. Great, 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 great band. And then I'm really on a run of this particular artist. Uh, he came out of Fairport Convention. His singing with Sandy Denny was just so beautifully done. Uh, back in the Fairport days. And of course, Richard Thompson and Sandy had a wonderful uh, solo career, but so did, yes, Ian Matthews. And this is about my favorite, favorite Ian Matthews album. This is Valley High from 1973. And the thing about Ian Matthews, his, uh, his songs that he writes are really uh, a bit better than his covers. And he does wonderful covers, like he covers uh, These Days Here, Jackson Brown, uh, the Steve Young song, Seven Bridges Road. Of course, that the Eagles, you know, did very nicely. And Propinquity by Nez, Michael Nesmith, is the second to last track on the B-side. And this is just a fine album. So I'm compiling more uh, Ian Matthews records. And this is just really heavy stock, heavy paper on Japanese pressing. And another budget album that I picked up by Ian Matthews. This is Hit and Run. I've wanted this one. This is where he gets a bit more commercial. And his commercial era is excellent as well. I, I prefer the early records, the first uh, five or six, or five rather. So this is, this is great to have. And at PNP Audio, that little shop, I just couldn't believe it when I saw this one. I've been looking for this one forever. And this is a re-release on Etzel Records out of the UK. And this is Roots, the Everly Brothers. And man, I'm loving having this one. Really, really. I want to get that Bo Brummel's, uh, what is it, Bradley's Barn. I'd love to have that one because I'm compiling more country rock. But this is a fine album. Glad to have this. It wasn't expensive at all on a UK press. And again, you know, wherever you are in the world, if you see it, get it because you might not see it again in that condition or that price. And here it is on the Etzel label. And at Vinylica, two more records that were in the budget bin. And I've been looking for the, uh, this artist on vinyl after his band, Worcester Mass, the J, J. Giles band, <laughs> Peter Wolf had a sensational, sensational solo career. Really. He just, everything that he put out was just fantastic. Now here is uh, this particular album with Lights Out, I Need You Tonight, Gloomy Sunday, Baby Please Don't Let Me Go, Crazy Poor Girl's Heart, Peter Wolf, and this is Lights Out. And then here's a good one too. Uh, this is Come As You Are. Sleepless is the one I want to get on vinyl. That's uh, my favorite solo, Peter Wolf. And both of these really fine Japanese pressings, and they sound good. I've spun both the A and B sides on both of these records. Just fantastic. Now, I had never had this album. This is one of my all-time favorite bands in the land ever. An American swampy rock band, incredible, with the great late Lil George, and this is the last record album, and this is on the Super Savers in the Shrink, and this is, I just never had this, and I've really been listening to a lot of Little Feet again. I now have a lot of records. The reason why I didn't go big shopping in Japan and Thailand is I had a feeling when I came home, I was going to, I just felt it that I was going to do well, and I, I bought a large record collection of all UK pressings. Just a stunning collection. I'll be showing that much, much later. I'm listening, I'm archiving the records. Uh, they're all mostly 90% are in just terrific shape. 
So I didn't go that big uh, as I have more records now when I came home. But this is just such a good album. And the great Billy Payne, Paul Burrard, Lil, um, Lil George, percussion section. Wonderful. And here's a band out of the UK. Annabelle was their lead singer. I now have three copies of this in different formats. Uh, I have the EP, but here's the Japanese pressing full length with the original cover. I have, uh, so again, I have the EP of this on a UK press. I have the US pressing with the, the redone cover where she's wearing more clothes. And this one, so this is definitely my keeper. I just, I mean, you got Jungle Boy on here, Chihuahua, Sinner, Sinner, Sinner. Mickey, put it down. I'm a TV savage, eliminating dancing. Uh, really cool. King Kong, golly, golly, go buddy. Go wild in the country. I'm not a know-it-all. Yeah, here, so here's the songs. Nice booklet with this. And I, you know, I really love this band. I mean, I love 80s bands anyway. But, uh... Half in English, half in Japanese. Great, great copy. Now here's a band. I'm really trying to get more of their records. And in Japan I did pick up two. But here's a, uh, what is this? This is a six song EP. Play at 45 RPM on a Japanese pressing. Doesn't have the obi. But this has Don't Bring Harry. And this is the Stranglers. It has Wired as well. Nice to have this. I spun both sides. Love Stranglers. And I do want to get more. So I'm doing pretty good, though. I have about five Stranglers albums already. And beautiful Japanese vinyl on this Stranglers album. Or EP, rather. And here's a band. I just don't have very many of their records. I have about two full length and two 12 inch singles. And this is Duran Duran. And look at this debut. This is a US press, but it's in the shrink. It wasn't very expensive. And they're getting a little pricey. Of course, Rio's really getting pricey. So look at that nice hype. And this, you know, I love this album. I spun the A and the B side. Uh, Duran Duran is just really super really is. And there's the wax on the Rainbow Capital. And just the entire, the A side especially just plays so good. Girls on Film, Planet Earth. Is there anyone out there? Careless Memories. Is there something I should know? Now, a record that has eluded me here in the States and a band that, uh, some people love and some people don't like. And guys, that's Journey. And this is the debut. And really, this when they started, you know, Greg Raleigh, Neil Sean came over from Santana Band. And uh, they were really somewhat of a super group. I mean, you have uh, jazz, rock, fusion, progressive. Very, very cool. This album is just absolutely wonderful. And uh, just in great, great shape. This is a, oh, this is a U.S. press, but it's a near mint copy all the way around the vinyl. And I just, I just was not finding this record. Look into the future. So good. The first three Journey albums and not to slight Steve Perry. It's great. They needed to make money and they did. They made a lot of money. Now, lastly, here's an artist that it's just taken me decades to really get into her uh, let's say operatic baby doll approach of vocals very theatrical guys and that's kate bush and over at bill's garage i scored this copy and of course this is the u.s cover you don't see it that often and once i got this um a lot of people in the vinyl community they were saying oh yeah you know the other cover and so i, I was thinking i looked up the other cover and i saw how beautiful it was and then, yes, over at Vinyl and Toys, with that Tommy Bolin album, the clerk over there, he was such a cool guy. I really had great conversation with him. And look what I got. Look what I brought home. This is just gorgeous. 
And I'm really getting into Kate Bush a lot more. Of course, her debut. And look at that Obi on there. Oh, my gosh. Just beautiful. And something really nice on that UK pressing uh, haul that I just told you about. There is another Kate Bush record in there. So I'm definitely getting more and more into Kate Bush. Uh, she's just, uh, I mean, it's genius stuff. It really is. So that's it. That's my haul from uh, Bangkok this year. My Japanese records were great at Tower and Disc Union Rock in Tokyo. And uh, just a couple clips to show you, and I'll see you on the very next video. And thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing as well. ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめん